member guests, the sponsors, and the big support of this event. And uh, once again, I have Uma Madam Roman, uh, Mr. Agarwalji, uh, Dev Mishra, and Siddharth Ramdas. So it's going to be a very interesting event. Just a few, uh, I'll talk about a bit of admin things out here because this is the uh, Crown Plaza Hotel on the first floor. We have a fire shoot on the right hand side. This is going to be the main hall for the first half of the session after the inaugural. Then this gets split into two, three levels of tire eight, uh, level two and level three, where all the three sessions will come back. And lunch will be served on the other side as well. And uh, there are a lot of interactive sessions. So bear with us, there might be a delay lunch in here because we're expecting more rush to come in. So be patient. You can have, have a lot of sessions, a lot of eminent speakers around, make use of the audience. And this is one of the best things of this session that you have such a as elite sort of people here. A lot of audience I can keep talking about. So feel free to interact and mostly the networking sessions. We have a lot of stalls outside where you can go and visit as well. So welcome once again and uh, I now leave it to uh, my madam to take. Very good morning to each one of you in this very pleasant day. As a person who has been observing all the actions, inactions in the preparation of the conference, various meetings, discussions, I thought I should give some highlights which will be interesting to all of you. We have all gathered here to witness a technical and professional extravaganza for these two days, today and tomorrow. Lot of efforts have gone into its preparation. And in the sense, we have so many of you who are written in various aspects of internet. And we decided to have certain basic uh, metrics to decide about. A few here to get that. So, welcome to the dignitaries of the dais and to all the guests on behalf of All India. I really uh, welcome all of you. I am very honored and privileged to be in the midst of you all today. And Mr. Manian, of course, he was talking about the conference, and you are going to listen more and more about the conferences in the keynote sessions and in the coming two days. So probably I thought I should not dwell too much on the conference now itself. So probably I thought I will take you back a little few years back, you know, to the origin of the IAA because many of the participants will also be new and the dignitaries are new and we have some people from the Pan India, from Mumbai, Bangalore. So I thought probably I will give a little bit of a history of the IAA. Chennai was the first chapter where IAA was founded in 1977 by none other than our veteran Mr. Priya Gopanathan and Mr. Shesha Sahi from Ashok Leyland. So, this was the only chapter at that time as part of the All India in 1977. Around 2011, the IAA India was called upon and then we formed the IAA India chapter. And based on that, we have now all the six chapters in all the metros. So, that is where the thing. So, my experience I would like to share here because it's a president said this, I thought I will talk you my journey in the IAA. I joined in 2003, so I'm 21 years old to this association, I should say. It's more my extended family, extended home. It's been my calling, it's been my passion, whatever you want to call it with the jargons. IA has been my next to my career, I would say. In fact, towards the end, it has been more than my career because I've devoted more time to this IA, that's what I would say. And that's why I'm here today. And it's all due to the support that has been given by the Madras chapter. Madras chapter has been the one who has introduced the women concept of a BOG and that's why I could enter into this forum. So and that is one, that's the only reason why I am here today after 20 years as the first woman. Of course, that's not a big good sign also for the All India level because we need to look at more women coming, which we are currently doing. I would like to tell in connection with this, Mr. Sid, who is sitting here, he has been the person who is responsible to start the Women's Forum in Delhi in 2019. So we have started the IE in the, all the six chapters, and there are women chairs representing this Women's Forum in all the six chapters. In fact, Mrs. Lelita, who is here, she represents a bank group, and we have Deepika here, 
who uh, manages the Chennai chapter, who is a rocking superstar for our Chennai chapter also. So we have all these women now coming in all the six chapters. The others, of course, could not participate. So this is how we have now evolved over a period of time. And so when I joined, how I came into this council position, I would like to say, because it's a little interesting anecdote. In 2005 or six or seven, we had a very rainy AGM. And even those days, even for the monthly professional meetings, we used to have hardly three attendees or four attendees, probably ten. And I was the only one who was a very regular attendee of the monthly programs. So one senior, Mr. P. Z. Anand, called and asked me, Ma, we have very few, we, I see you for every monthly meeting. Why don't you get associated with us and become a treasurer? I said, yeah, why not? It's interesting, so it's interesting, let me get into it. So that's how I got into a council position in 2006 after that. And so I've been working with them. And today, we have more than 4,500 members of the Call India. And we have come to a stage where in the last eight, nine years, continuously we are doing this multiple track session in Chennai with more than 150 participants. And we have now culminated here this year with a 300 record participation, thanks to our untiring efforts, Chapter President Mr. Ravi also. Of course, without that, we would not have been able to get into this level of participation. Of course, next year, we hope to make it little more than this, more vibrant even than this in the coming years. So we expect a lot of activities that's happening in IEA India. I would just like to touch upon for one minute on the activities that we carry on at the All India level. We have a lot of training programs with corporates, public sector enterprises. In fact, recently we have launched a training program with the LIC and we are also talking to the Reserve Bank of India. Man also has come CFO of Reserve Bank has come here. So we are also talking to them on training initiatives. We recently concluded a training program with the Indian Nobel Corporation. So these are of the training initiatives. And our Student Development Committee is a very, very active at the All India level. Ms. Sana Bhatta heads the committee. And we have three, four learning partners who work with us to propagate and to do advocacy about this CAA awareness course and CAA challenge exams, about the various other courses that is offered by this institute. So that, that uh, student development is a very, very important activity in the running years also to come because we are also talking to do an NCV activities, a vocational training center. We are going to have a tie up soon. And India, across all the universities, we are going to introduce the internal audit as a value add course in all the colleges. So that is going to be the awareness amongst the students, which is going to be an employment opportunities for the students so that they really stand out when they go for an interview. We are going to equip them with that kind of a thing. Apart from the corporates, our focus is also now with the student community. So these are from Mumbai, we have teammates from Mumbai, we are from Delhi, we are from Hyderabad. So from Bangalore, we are so proud, we are so privileged. And once again, I take this opportunity to thank all the collaboration partners who have been part of us in taking this initiative. Thank you.